it's not the best job. I made it. I'm not the best woodworker. Um, the trigger is really nice. This is made by Archibalista. Um, he's a Greek slinger and he also makes siege engines. And it's, it's your typical catapult trigger with the claw that prevents the claw from releasing. And then this trigger just latches on and now it's locked. The disadvantage of this trigger is that you gotta use two hands most likely on a heavy bow. Uh, you gotta use two hands to do this and it's quite hard to fiddle with. So if you want to use a heavy bow, you need like a spanning device like this. And one thing I noticed is it, the slider starts coming off. So you need to have a dovetail on the slider or what I did is a blocker on the back to prevent it from going up. Uh, this type of trigger works great for siege engines when you have like a windlass in the back to crank it. The problem with this w is that you, you need these winches which is a lot more complicated um, or these latching devices and that's just over complicated for a handheld device and I think that's the main reason why this type of thing failed because it was over uh, it was ahead of its time. So first we have the slider bring the slider up have the Claw open, bring it all the way up, and first thing I'm going to do, just bring the the set the claw so that the trigger gets locked. Okay, trigger is locked now. Now it's ready to be spanned. So I'm going to select an arrow. Okay, you ready? Crossbow is cocked. Wow, that was powerful. You saw how fast that thing flew. I think slingers just do a much better job because you can hire so many more slings for one gas graffitis and they're so much more mobile, so much more portable, and they had skilled slingers in, in Europe. So you don't need a gas graffiti. So out of these three long range weapons, which one would I pick in the Greek world 2000 years ago? I'd pick the bow because I'm the most accurate with it. This crossbow thing is just too finicky for me and I can't really skirmish with. Um, it's just too bulky and awkward. And the reload rate is too slow for me to, to enjoy. Um, and the sling, I'm just not accurate enough with it. Um, it's very hard to hit targets because I don't have enough training. But the bow, I have the most experience. I'm, I'm pretty sure this is a, nothing surprised because of my history with archery. Um, but if you have a lot more experience with slings, yeah, I can see that. With the crossbow here, yeah, if you don't have any archery experience, I'd recommend this just because how easy it is to use. But it's so hard to make something like this. So um, I can see why it was never popular because of how complicated this, this entire thing is. Um, but uh, mass producing it is much harder. Yeah, okay, so it's one thing to make this thing for a project, it's another thing to mass produce these things. That is the challenge of how complicated it is. Although, you can see how innovative the Greeks are inventing things like this. Um, I think the Chinese crossbow has more success because of how simple the trigger um, can be assembled onto a wood stock. The trigger itself is complicated to make, but you can mass produce the triggers um, and then send it to, to anybody to make. Any blow drill with enough carpentry skills, just basic carpentry skills, can attach the trigger onto the, the the stock. Um, of course, if you need to be more skilled to, to make it look nice, but um, it's not that hard to make a hole and stick this trigger in. But something like this is quite complicated to make.